In the 1950s, Uncle Harry gave our family an LP record of The Sentimental Bloke, read by Peter O'Shaughnessy. I don't think O'Shaughnessy's iconic interpretation has been surpassed to this day. He is the bloke. It was the first long-playing record our family ever owned, and it remains in my care today. In my teens, inspired by Peter O'Shaughnessy's performance, I learnt by heart the fifteen poems that comprise the sentimental bloke. What a lot of joy that endeavour has given me over the years. And although I have since learned many more poems, I find myself returning to the bloke over and over again. So, I hope I can pass on some of that pleasure to you, for Dennis was a genius, the like of which we may never see again. The world has got me snouted, just a treat. Cruel fortune's dirty left has smote me so, and all them joys in life I'd held so sweet is up the pole. Or, as the poet says, me art has got the pip with yearning for I don't know what. I'm crook. Me name is Mud. I done me dash. Me flaming spirit's got the flaming up. I'm longing to let loose on something rash. Oh, I'm a chump. I know it, but this blind old springtime craze fair outs me in these dilly silly days. The young green leaves is shooting on the trees. The air's like a long, cool swig of beer. The bonza smell of flowers is on the breeze, and here's me here just mooching round like some poor barmy coot of hope and joy and fortune destitute. I've lost me former joy in getting chic or eating browns. I haven't got the heart to word a tongue. To tell you square and all, I'm sick of that cheap tart who chucks her carcass at a fella's head and mauls him. Ah, I wish that I was dead. There's little breezes stirring the trees and sparrows chirping on the whole day long. And on the air, a sad, sweet music breathes a bonza song. A mournful sort of tune that gets a bloke fair in the brisket ear and makes him choke. What's the matter with me? I don't know. I've got this sort of yearning here inside it, a dead crook sort of thing that won't let go or be denied. I feel like I want to do a break and stoush creation for some woman's sake. The little birds is chirping in their nests. The parks and gardens is a bosker sight, where smiling tarts is walking up and down, all dressed in clobber white. And as their snowy forms go stepping by, it seems I'm seeking something on the sly. Something or someone, I don't rightly know, but it seems I'm looking for a tart I knew a hundred years ago, or, or maybe more. What's this I've heard him call his thing? Gee whiz, me ideal bit of skirt, that's what it is, me ideal tart. But blimey, look at this. Take a squiz at this and tell me, can some square and honest Tom take this to be her own true man? Oh, God, I'd be as true to her, I would. I'd, I'd be as straight and steady as... Ah, what's the good? Me that stunned me stretch for Stoush and Johns and spends me leisure getting on the shit and half me nights down there and little lawn with Ginger Mick just adding them and doing in me guilt. Tough luck, I suppose, our man's built. It's our God builds a bloke, but don't it hurt when he gets a yearning for this eye of life. On these spring mornings, watching some sweet skirt, 
Our future wife goes sailing by and turn on his fizz the glassy eye for being what he is. I've watched him. Walking in the gardens here, clothes from offices and shops and such, the sort of skirts I doesn't go too near, I dare not touch. And when I see the sort of looks they cast, God struth, what's the use of me, I ask? I tells myself, someday I'll take a pull and look around for some good steady job and cut the push for good and all. I'm full of that crook, Bob. And then, some spring, the future has in store. I'll cop me prize and long in vain no more. There's little breezes stirring in the trees and little birds are chanting lovers' lays. The music of a soft and balmy breeze. Oh, spare me days. If this here dilly feeling doesn't stop, I'll lose me block and stouse some flaming cop. Her name's Doreen. Well, spare me bloomin' days. You could have knocked me down with half a brick. Yeah, me that kids myself I know their ways and has a name for smoochin' in our click. I just lines up and tips a saucy wink. <laughs> Strike the way she piled on, dog. You'd think a black was given back tat to the queen. Her name's Doreen. I, I seen her in the market, first of all, inspectin' brums at Steeny Isaac's store. I backs me bower in the same old way and says, What ho, it's been a bonzer day, how's it for a walk? Oh, holy wars, the sort of looks you give me, just because I tried to make a start like you would with any tart. And I can take me over, I was polite, never said no word, it wasn't right, never tried to maul her or to do a thing you might talk crook. Tell you the truth, I didn't see that in the nerve with her. Felt like I couldn't go that far and start to sling off cheek like I used, not introduced. Next time, I sighed her a little bit while she was in a job. I found her lurk was pasting labels in a pickle joint. The game, of, anyhow, that ain't the point. But once more, I tried to chat her in the street, but blimey, did she turn me down a treat the way she tossed her head and switched her skirt. <laughs> I was dirt. Now, I know a bloke who knows a bloke who toils in that same pickle founder. He, he boils the cabbage stalks or something. I gives me pal, the office to say, I've got a sister who's in a trade and out of a job and wants to meet Doreen. That way we can get an intro if we've luck. He says, right buck. <laughs> of course, we work the oracle new bet, but truth, I ain't recovered from it yet. It was on a Saturday in Collins Street, and quite by accident, of course, <laughs> we meet. Me pal, he trots her up and does the toff. He always was a bloke for showing off. This is Doreen, he says. I dips me lid. This is Doreen, he says. I says, G'day. <laughs> but, blimey, I had nothing more to say. I couldn't speak a word on either eye. Clean done me block. I've never been that shy. Not since I was a tiny little cub and run the rabbit to the corner pub. What time the summer days was drying hot for my old pipe. Yeah, mate, it's... Barrett tarts and talked and laughed and chucked off at him like a phonograph. God's truth, I seem to lose me power of speech. But, uh, oh, strike me pink, she is a peach. The sweetest in the barrow, spare me days. Oh, I can't describe her kind of winning ways, the, the way she talks, her lips, her eyes, her hair. Oh, give me air. I don't know how I done it, then. I, I regularly I asked to be her friend and try to play in Andy's in a park. I <laughs> think she wouldn't sight. Ah, it's a knock. And I gotta swear what a mug I must have seen to her, but still, I had the promise that she'd give me for the beach, the bonds of peach. Now, as the poet says, the days drag by on leaden feet. I wish they'd do a guy. I don't know how I had the nerve to make that meet with her for Sunday week. She's gone when I come to, and I'm yapping to me cobra, me mash. I've done me dash. Her name's Doreen.
a mood of, thought I knew the ways of tarts and all that smooge and game for, for so I ought, for I don't know a few. Yeah, somehow I don't know, it ain't the same. I can't tell what it is, but all I know, I've dropped me bundle. And I'm glad it's so, for, for when I come to think of what I've been. Her name's Doreen. I wished you meant it, Bill. Oh, how me heart went out to her that evening on the beach. I knew she weren't no ordinary tart, my little peach. I tell you, square and all, me heart stood still to hear her say, I wished you meant it, Bill. To hear her voice, its gentle sort of tone, like soft dream music, some dago band. And me all out and holding in me own, her little hand. Oh, how she blushed. Oh, strike it was divine the way she raised her shining eyes to mine. The wet sands glistened and the gleaming moon shone yellow on the sea, all streaking down. A band was playing some soft, dreamy tune. And up the town, we heard the distant tram cars whir and clash. And there I told her how I'd done me dash. I wished you meant it. And struth I did fair. A bloke would be a dog to kid a skirt like her, and me well knowing she was square. There'd be no man to point with her and kid. I meant it honest, and she knew I did. For her sweet sakes, I've gone and chucked it clean. The pubs and schools and all that leery game. For, for when a bloke has come to know Doreen, it ain't the same. There's only her things, she says, for blokes to do. And I'm half believing it's true. Yeah, only her things. That was the way she spoke. And when she looked at me, I sort of felt that... Oscar feeling that comes off the bloke, makes him melt, makes him all hot to maul her and just shove his arms about her. Blimey, but it's love. I wish you meant it. I can hear her yet, my precious bit of fluff. The moon was shining bright, turning the waves all yellow where it set. The bonds of night, the sparkling sea, all sort of gold and green, and on the pier, the band. Oh, well, Doreen. What's in a name? She says, and then she sighs and clasps her little hands and rolls her eyes. A rose, she says, be any other name would smell the same. A Romeo, Wherefore art you, Romeo, young sir? Chuck your old pot and change your moniker. Doreen and me, we've been to see a show. A swell two-dollar touch, bong tong, you know. A chair apiece with velvet on the seat, a slap-up treat. The dramas writ me Shakespeare years ago about a barmy goat called Romeo. Lady, beyond the moon, I swear. Says he, and then he climbs up on the balcony, and there they smooge a treat with pretty words like two lovebirds. I nudge Doreen. She whispers, Ain't it grand? Her eyes are shining, and I squeeze her hand. What's in a name? Struth, I don't know. Billow's just as good as Romeo. She may be Juliet or Juliet. He loves her yet. She's the tart he wants and she's his queen. Names never count. But uh, I like Doreen. A sweeter, dearer sound I never heard. This music hangs around that little word, Doreen. But what's this I starts to say about the play? I'm off me beat, but when a bloke's in love, his thoughts turn her way like a home and dove. This Romeo, he's lurking with a crew. A dead tough crowd of crooks called Montague. His cleaners push what's nicknamed Capula at Lazarus set. Yeah, narks they are, just like them backstreet clicks, except they fight with skewers instead of bricks. 
What's in a name? What's in a string of words? They scraps in old Verona with their swords and never give a bloke a stray dog's chance. But that's romance. But when they deals it out with bricks and boots and little lawn, they're low degraded brutes. What's just plain stouch with us right here today is valour, if you're far enough away. Someday, some writer bloke will do the trick with Ginger Mick of Spanish's Lane. He'll be a Romeo when he's been dead 500 years or so. Fair Juliet, she gives her boy the tip. She says she, don't sling that crowd of mine, no lip. And, and if you run again a capulet, just do again. He swears he's done with Lash. He'll chuck it clean. Same as I'd done when I first met Doreen. A smooth Samoa that old strike gives me jokes to sit and watch them too. He'll break away and start to say goodbye and then she'll sigh and hang around him like she'd fear he'd bolt. Next day, he words a gospel cove about a secret wedding and they plan it out. He spouts a piece about how he's bewitched and they get itched. Now here's the place where I fear get the pip. She's his for keeps and yet he lets her slip. Ah, oh, he makes me sick. The fair gazob, he's just a glassy on the soulful sob. He'll sigh our lovesick vow, a <laughs> silly cow. But when he's got her spliced and on the straight, he cruels his pitch and tries to kid at his fate. Ha, <laughs> fate me foot. Stead of sloping, soon as he's weared off on his honeymoon, him and his cover, called Mick Curio, I have to go and mix it with that push of Capulets. They look for trouble, and it's what they get. A tug named Tibble, cousin of the skirt, sprags them and starts to sling off dirt. Next minute, there's a real old ding-dong go, half round or so. Mercurio, he gets it in the neck. Ah, oh, rats, he says, and passes in his check. Quite natural, Romeo gets wet as hell. It's me or you, he yells. And with a yell, plunks Tibble through the gizzards with his sword. Oh, how I encored. Put in the boot, I says. Put in the boot. Hush, says Doreen. Shame, says some silly coot. Then Romeo, he don't know what to do. Cops get busy like they always do and hang around till he gets a blue funk and does the bunk. And once he's tart to wed some other guy. Oh, strike, she says. I wish that I could die. Now, this here gospel cove's a fair shrewd head. Says he, I'll dope ya, so they'll think you're dead. I tipsy was a kind of sort, what knew a thing or two. She takes his knockout drops up in a room. They think she's snuffed and plan her in a tomb. And things get mixed to treat and starts to whirl. Here's Romeo, comes back, finds his girl tucked up in a little coffin, cold and stiff, and in a jiff. He swallows lice hole, throws a fancy pit, head over turkey, and his soul is flit. Then Juliet wakes up and sees him there, turns on the waterworks and tears her hair. Dear love, she says, I cannot live alone. And with a moan, she grabs his pocket knife and ends her cares. Peanuts and lollies, says a boy upstairs. Ah, uh, women... What a blinded fool I've been. I asked myself, what else could I expect? I done me block complete on his door, right? Eh? And now me heart is broke. Me life's a wreck. The dreams I dream, the dilly thoughts I funk is up the pole, and joy is done a bunk. Women. Oh, don't know, and they came, their tricks as crook, their arts is all dead snide, the whole world over tarts is all the same, all soft and smiling with no art inside. But she feared dope me with her winning ways, and cruel me pitch for all me mortal days. A man's got to be strict master if he wants to snare him, sure. He's got to show him that he's in command, so they'll smooge and feed out of his hand. But when the birds is nesting in the spring, when the soft green leaves is in the bud, he drops his bundle to some fluffy thing. He pays her homage and his name is Mud. She plays with him and kids him on a tree until she's got him crawling at her feet. Then when he's half up his top with love, when she's got him good and had her fun, she slings him over 
like a cast-off glove to let all the other tarts see what she's done. All vanity, deceit, and artless, kid. I would have known and spared me days. I did, I knew, but when I looked in her eyes, them shining eyes of blue, all soft with love, with mimic love, they, they seemed to hypnotise. I was content to place her eye above. I was content to make of her a queen. And so she seemed them days. Oh, strike Doreen. I knew, but when I stroked her glossy hair with reverent hands, me cheek pressed close to hers, me lonely life seemed robbed of all its cares. I dreams me dreams and hope began to shine. And when she held her lips for me to kiss, oh, I strike, what's the use? I'm done with all this. Women, oh, I ain't jealous. Spare me days. Me jealous of that knock-kneed coot. Him with his cute straw hat and pretty ways. I'd be a mug to squeal or whip the cat. I'm glad I am, glad because I'm free. There ain't no call to talk of jealousy. I tells myself I'm well out of the game. For look, I might have married her and then, Strike me name was music on her lips on them glad evenings when we used to meet. And then to think she'd go, Nah, I ain't jealous, but oh, I don't know. I took a dairy on this straw hat coot. First time I seen him dodging round Doreen. Him with his giddy tie and Yankee suit, forever yapping like a talk machine about the office where he had a grip. The way he smiled at her, fair give me the pip. She says, I stoused him. What a promise for you to chuck it, even a friendly spot. Stoused him. I never roughed his pretty hair. I only spanked him gentle for his ma. If I'd have jabbed him once, there would have been an inquest. And I said so to Doreen. I could have took and cracked him in the street when she was with him there last Friday night. But don't I keep me temp when we meet? Don't I raise me lid and act polite? <laughs> only jerks me elbows in his ribs to give the gentle office to his nibs. <laughs> Doused him. I own I met him on the quiet and wooed him about a small affair. And when he won't put up his hands and fight for public brawls, he said he didn't care. I lays him cross my knee to mother's joy and spanks him hardy like a naughty boy. But now, Doreen, she says, I broke me vow and mags about his coot's poor wounded pride. And then, of course, we has a ding-dong row and hot and stormy words on either side. She says, I done it out of jealousy. And so we pass forever, her and me. Hey, jealous? Jealous of that cross-eyed cow? I, I said him because I couldn't sight his face. His yapping hair's got on me nerves somehow. Couldn't stand him hanging around her place, a kook like that. It don't matter much. She's welcome to him. She fancies such. I'll swear I'll never track with her no more. I'll never walk on her side of the street unless she comes and begs me pardon for them things she said to me in angry heat. She can't expect for me to smooch and crawl. I ain't at any woman's beck and call. Women. I've taken a tumble to their lot. Got the whole bang tribe of to set the whole world over. Crook to the court. A bunch of them. Yep. We... Could have been that happier of me. Oh, what's it matter? Ain't I glad I'm free? A man with common sense has got to own his little happiness in married life. Smooching gains better left alone for tasks as few that make the ideal wife. And them's the sort that love without disguise and thinks the sun shines out of the husband's eyes. But when the birds is mate in the spring, I mean, the soft green leaves is in the bud. A feeling comes, a dilly sort of thing that seems to swamp him like a flood. And when that fever here inside him burns, then freedom ain't the thing for what he yearns. Ah, but I've chucked it all. And yet I own, I dreams me dreams when soft spring breezes stir. And sometimes, when I'm mooning here alone, a lispin' maid with eyes and hair like hers, who calls me dad and climbs upon me knee and yaps a pretty baby talk to me. To call her back, I'll never lift hand. 
She'll never hear from me by word or sign. Perhaps someday she'll come to understand the mess she made of this here life of mine. Oh, I ain't much to look at, I admit. But him, the knock-kneed, swivel-eyed misfit. And will you take this woman for to be your wedded wife? What? He stands there asking me, as if he thought perhaps I'd rather not take her. Doreen, I just seemed to think her kind was got like cigarette cards for the asking. Still, I does be stunted this here itch and rot and speaks me peace. Right, I says, I will. I will, I says. Though a joyful shout come from me busted heart, I know it did. Me voice got sort of mangled coming out and makes me whisper like a frightened kid. Oh, well, I squeezed. Oh, I want to give a quid to it on the quiet without all this fuss and all this staring crowd that Ma had bid to see the solemn itching up of us. The richer or the poorer, so he bleats, in sickness and in health. And there I stand, and don't know half the chatter, I repeat. I know what the hell to do with my two hands, but... He don't hurry putting on our brands, this white-haired pilot bloke gives it a lip, dressed in his little shirt with frills and bands, in sickness and it... Oh, I got the pip. And once I miss me turn, and Ginger Mick, who's my best man, he ups and beeps it out. I will, he howls and fetches me a kick. Your turn to chin, he tips me with a shout. <laughs> there I'm standing like a gorgy lout, but... Spare me, I seem to be all hands and wonders what he's going crook about with half a mind to crack him where he stands. But lummy, old Ginger was a trick, got up regardless for the solemn rite. He hawks the bunnies when he toils, does Mick, and twice I seen him feeling for a light to start a fag, <laughs> and trembles lest he might through force a habit like. He's nervous too. That's plain for all his bluff and skite, and just as keen as me to see it through. To be a wedded wife, I take a pull. What the hell's he think I come here for? And so he drawls and drones until I'm full and wants to do a duck clean out the door. And yet, for all his eyeful and jaw, old Snowy, he was a real good mean and black. And it wasn't for the only look he wore, you'd, you'd think he piled it on just for a joke. And when at last he shuts his little book, I heaves a sigh that nearly busts me vest. But heavens, now his mother going crook and sobbing awful on me manly chest. I wish she'd give them waterworks a rest. My little girl, she has, oh, treat her well. She's young, too young to leave her mother's nest. All right, old chook, I nearly said. Oh, well. Uh, then we has a beano up at Mars, a slap-up feed with wine and two big geese. Doreen sits next to me, her eyes like stars. Oh, how I wish their blessed yap would cease. The parson bloke, he speaks a little piece that makes me blush and hang me silly head. He says he hopes our loving will increase. I likes that pilot for the things he says. He says, Doreen and me is in a boat and sailing on the matrimonial sea. He says... Our hopes will always float in peace and joy from storm and danger free. Then mother gets to weeping in her tea, and Auntie Liz sobs like a winded colt, and Cousin Lil comes round and kisses me until I feel I'll have to do a bolt. Then Ginger gets end up and makes a speech. He'd had a couple, but he wanted shit. My copper here. He says, as cop to peach, of all the barrel load, she is the pick. I hope he won't forget his friends too quick as was his pals in olden days, because I'm trusting later on, says Ginger Mick, to celebrate the christening.
Holy wars. At last, Doreen and me, we gets away and leaves them doing nothing to the scrap. We honeymooned down beside the bay. I gives half a dollar to the man who drives the cab and like two kids, we, we ran to catch the train. Oh, strike, I could have flown. We gets the carriage, riding in the van. She whistles, jolts and starts. And we're alone. Doreen and me. Me own true wedded wife. And we're alone. She looks so frail and lays so big and rough. <laughs> I don't know what this feeling is that's grown inside me here that makes me feel I own a thing so tender, like, like I feel squeezed too hard for feel she'll break. Then, with a groan, I hear a coot call, Tickets, please! You could have had me right in a spot for strength. <laughs> Them tickets I'd fair forgot. But he fists last and takes them for a joke. We must excuse, he says, new married folks. So I pays up and grins and blushes red. Shows how married life improves a bloke. If I'd been single, I'd have punched his head. She never magged. She never said one word. But sat and looked at me and never stirred. I could have bluffed it out if she'd been fair knocked and let me have it with her tongue. Its silence told me how her heart was wrung. Poor Ertori. Oh, strike. I'd sooner fight with 50 men and get one look like that from her again. She never moved. She never said one word. That hurt look in her eyes like some scared bird. Is the man I loved, it seemed to say. He's mine, this crawling thing, and I'm his wife, tied up for good, and all me joy in life is chucked away. If she'd have bashed me, I'd have felt no hurt, but yet she treats me like, like I was dead. Just two months wed, eight weeks of married bliss with my Doreen, and now it's come to this. Oh, strike, what was I thinking of? I ain't fit to kiss the place her little feet has been. Her that I call me wife, me own Doreen. Fond dreams is flip, love's done a bunk and joy's up the pole. And shame and sorrow's roosted in me soul. Just all because of Ginger Mick the cow. I wish I had him here to deal with now. I'd pass him one. I would. He ain't no man. I meet him Tuesday evening up the town. What a He chips me. Can you keep one down? Says I can. We has a couple. Then we meets three or four flash cars he used to know. And there's some more. How are you on a little gamble, kid? Says Ginger Mick. Last night. I won four quid. Come round, try your luck at Steeny School. No, nah, says me conscience. Then I think, why not? And buy a presence if I win the pot. Blazing fool I was for half a mile as I was fighting conscience guys away. Says I, all right. Ten minutes later, I was back once more, keeping my hand on Steeny Eyes X4. My luck was in and I was heading good. Yep. Back again amongst the same old crew. And all the time I knew I never should. Next thing I know is it's after two o'clock. Yep, two in the morning. I've done me block. Well, no, I think I'm in for it. All right. So I stops and gambles all the night and bribes me conscience with the guilt I wins. And when I comes out in the cold hard dawn, I've cruel me pitch. Me soul's in pawn. Me flaming sins, they hits me where I live, for I broke the solemn vow I give. She never magged. She never said one word. When I speak, it seemed she never heard. If she'd only roused, I might have smiled, but she just seemed hurt and crushed, not even riled. I turns away and drags me carcass out in the yard like some whipped 
up and kicks myself real hard. And then I sneaks to bed and feels dead crook. For golden quids, I couldn't face that look, the trouble in the eyes of my Doreen. Oh, strike what may be going to this thing. I feel just like a chewed up piece string and rotten meat. For half an hour, I lies there feeling cheap, and then I suppose I must have fell asleep. Here, kid, drink this. I wakes. I lifts me head and sees her standing there beside the bed, a basin in her hand and in her eyes, eyes that were wet with unshed tears, the sort of look I never shall forget until the day I die. Here, kid, drink this. She smiles at me. I looks and spare me days. It's beef tea. Beef tea! She feeds me like a invalid. Me that has caused her loving heart to bleed. It hurts worse than Megan for a week. Uh, who had right to turn dead sour on me for gibbs like that and feeds me with beef tea. I tries to speak and then I, I ain't ashamed of what I did. I, I, I hides me face and blubbers like a kid. My son, them words, just like a blessed song is singing in me heart the whole day long, over and over, while I'm scared I'll wake out of a dream and find it's all a fake. My son, two little words that yesterday were just two simple, senseless words to me. And now, no man, not since the world begun, made any better prayer than that. My son, my son and blooming hair, hers, hers and mine, the, the finest kid in, oh, the sun don't shine, there ain't no joy for me beneath the blue unless I'm gazing and loving at them too. A little while ago, it was just me, a lonely, long and streak of misery. Then twas her and me, Doreen, me wife. And now it's him and us and such as life. But strike, <laughs> he is kingpin, the head serang. I mustn't tramp about or talk, no slang. I mustn't pinch his nose or make a face. I mustn't <laughs> strike. He seems to own the place, cunning, to look into his eyes. You think he knew the game clean through, it seems that wise. With her and nurse, he's the leading man and Poor old dad's amongst the alls I ran. Goo, goo, he says, and curls his cunning toes. Oh, you'd be surprised the heaps of things he knows. I, I swear he tumbles on his father too, the way he squints at me and says, goo, goo. Well, this morning, his lordship gets a grip, firm my finger, give it quite a nip. And when I pulls, he won't let go his hold. Hangs on like that, and him not for a week's old. Goo. He says, oh, I swear you never did it all your natural see such a kid. The cunning ways he's got to know and stare. There ain't a youngster like him anywhere. And when he gets a little pain inside, he's dead straight given ain't to be denied. I'm said to talk sweet enough as the fowls while nurse springs and turns every time he has. But say, to tell you straight, I've been through hell. The things I thought I wouldn't dare to tell, lest in the telling I might feel again one little part of all that fear and pain. It come so sudden that I, that I lost me block. First it was hell for leather to the doc, who took it all so calm. He, he made me curse. Then I, then I sprints like mad to get the nurse. I gum that woman, but she beat me flat. I mean, it's just party in a game like that. She had me happy home, almost as she was, she got a nose fair inside me door. Squatting I was, and cold with fear inside, and then to think a man could be denied his wife and home and told to fade away by just one fat old nurse who's in his pay. I was too weak with funk to start and rouse. Street ain't the man to boss in his own house. You go chase yourself, she tips me straight. There's nothing now for you to do but wait. Wait? Oh, 
God, I, I never knew what waiting meant in all me days. Till that day I was sent to loaf around while they're inside. Oh, I can't tell you what that hour was like. Three times I comes to listen at the door. Three times I drags myself away once more. Half dead with fear, half dead with trembling joy. And then she beckons me and says, A boy, a boy, she says, and both is doing well. I drops into a chair and just says, Well, it was a prayer. I feels both crook and glad. And that's the strength of being made a dad. I think the church, when in that room I goes, on me breath and walking on me toes. For half a moment, I thought me nerve had failed to see her lying there so still and pale. She looks so frail at first, I doesn't stir. Then I leans across and Kisses her, and all the room gets sort of blurred and dim. She smiles and moves her head. Dear lad, kiss him. Kiss him, she said. I was afraid to take too big a mouthful of him, fear it break. And when he gets a fair look at me, Fizz, he packers up his nose and then, gee, whiz out, did he out? Half a second door, nurse had me hustle and clean outside the door. Scarce knowing how, I gets out in the yard and leans against the fence and thinks real hard. Long, long time I looks at my two hands. They're all I got, I thinks. They're all that stands twixt this hard world and them I call me own. And for their sakes... I'll work them to the bone. Then vows and things sound like a lot of guff. Maybe it's foolish thinking all this stuff, mate. Maybe it's childish like to scheme and plan, but I don't know, it's that way with a man. I only know that kid belongs to me. We ain't decided yet what he's to be. Doreen. She says he's got a poet's eyes. I ain't got much use for them soft guys. I think we ought to make him something great. A, a bookie or a champion heavyweight. This evening, I was sitting with Dora. Peaceful and happy with the day's work done. Watching behind the orchards, bonds are green, the flame and wonder of the setting sun. Another day gone by, another night comes creeping in to dust day's golden light. Another dawning when the night is gone to live and love. So life mooches on. Times I thought when things was going crook, when oak turned dark and love forgot to smile, there's something I once seen in some old book where an old sorry does, is life worthwhile? But in that stillness, as the day grows dim and I'm sitting there with her and him, my wife, my son, and strength in me to strive. I only know it's good to be alive. But when I take a look along the way that I've trod, it seems the, the man knows best who's met with slabs of sorrow in his day. When he is truly rich and truly blessed. And I am rich because my eyes have seen the love light in the eyes of my Doreen. And I am blessed 
because me feet have trod a land whose fields reflect the smile of God. Living and loving, learn to forgive the words and deeds of some unhappy bloke who's missed the bus. So I've come to live and take the old mad world as half a joke. Sitting at evening in this sunset land with her in all the world who hold me in, a son to bear me name. When I am gone, living and loving, so life mooches on.